Allah Rahman Rahim. Now we, we will move forward to the, the concept of self purification. The whole uh, mechanism of this uh, water quality management in the rivers is actually uh, clearly uh, indicating that uh, the natural processes which are taking place in our river systems are having the capacity to uh, deal with the pollution loads. So uh, if you can observe whatsoever the uh, level of load pollution load may be the microorganisms are being uh, uh, activated and the uh, level of pollution load is being reduced all the way as the, the uh, load as the drain moves forward here it is also important that uh, we have termed it as a process of uh, self -pur purification process within the uh, water bodies so uh, there are different uh, processes which are involved in this uh, self purification and uh, uh, first of all uh, we will not consider that what is our source it may be treated or it may be untreated in both cases uh, we will be having different processes involved in the process of self purification the most important one is the uh, dispersion then we will have sedimentation then we will have oxidation then we will have reduction then there will, there will be some factors which will be affecting the process of uh, uh, self purification and that will be temperature and uh, uh, sunlight and uh, the velocity of the uh, moving body moving water body so all these uh, things are uh, important with respect to the uh, whole process of self purification so first of all what is actually uh, happening when the pollution load is entering from the uh, source and it is entering into the uh, water bodies so first of all we have observed that the oxygen level will be depleting you must be understanding what is the reason of this depletion because the microbes are now active they are utilizing more oxygen and at the same time we are having some entrance of uh, oxygen from the surface as well uh, so um, the, the load which is being entering into the system it it is quite possible that it is uh, for example uh, 80 milligrams per liter so this 80 milligrams per liter which is entering into the system it will be uh, diluted uh, when it will be entering into a uh, um, water body with the much lesser uh, organic content so uh, first of all this dispersion this sorry dilution will take place and uh, in this case we can derive a um, equation to express how much of the uh, pollution load is being managed by this uh, water body in our river uh, in this case we will be calculating the concentration of load entering into the body uh, that will be called uh, cs concentration c and s the source and it will be equal to this uh, 80 milligrams per liter then we will be having another concentration and which is uh, uh, of this water body so it will be called c r uh, so concentration of the river so both will be uh, balanced in such a way that it will be multiplied by the uh, this concentration will be multiplied by the uh, velocities and uh, the volume of the water body so we need what is the discharge of discharge rate of this uh, this uh, source and then we also need the discharge rate q of this um, volumetric rate volumetric flow rate is called discharge 
so both will be calculated and then they will be multiplied and then combining the uh, then having a combined effect of both sources we will be determining the uh, overall uh, uh, concentration which we will get from the uh, which will be existing in this uh, new water body so this is the first thing which is happening and it is called dilution and then dispersion as well because it is being dispersed all the way in this and uh, the velocity is also important as the water moves uh, at higher speeds uh, the uh, more aeration process will be facilitated and more oxygen will be entering into the system and thus the activity of microbes will be enhanced and we will be having uh, much um, high rate of uh, degradation so this this is another impact we will derive uh, a formula for this determination then we have oxidation process now this oxidation process is actually um, all based on the aerobic bacteria and it will depend upon the uh, it will depend upon the microbes and uh, uh, on the organic content organic matter will be oxidized and uh, finally it will be uh, the whole water will be purified gradually as we will move uh, in the direction then another process uh, in com in parallel with oxidation is taking place that is called reduction and it involves the hydrolysis of the organic matter and uh, uh, again some of the gases will be produced uh, in this case and then uh, we will be having uh, some factors which will be affecting as we talked earlier temperature is the important factor uh, how the temperature affects the saturation level at zero degree we will be having maximum uh, saturation level of uh, oxygen then at 20 it will be further uh, reduced and then at 30 it will be further reduced so temperature is an important factor and then sunlight is again uh, important because uh, the process of photosynthesis is facilitated in the presence of sunlight and the, the algal growth will take place and then all the phosphorus and nitrogen will be uh, utilized by the uh, organic by the this uh, algal algal growth and it will also be decomposed so this is something about the self purification process of the water bodies and uh, now we will uh, uh, actually move to the analysis of the uh, sag curve this sag curve will be now analyzed by quantifying what actually we are looking forward so briefly i will explain that we need a balance uh, between two rates what rates deoxygenation rate and d uh, and reoxygenate re reoxygenate oxygenation rate so both are important to find out the oxygen uh, deficiency and uh, we will we need to predict uh, how much oxygen is required at what distance and what time these are our required parameters so if you understand this now we will be moving forward to uh, some uh, uh, equation derivations and some uh, uh, to determine some expressions for the uh, these uh, uh, sag curve so this sag curve will be solved by the uh, process we need uh, some uh, mathematical model which will be helping us in this determination